Hello everybody and welcome back to Castle Flipper where you may notice we're looking very very different around here now. Um, I had a little bit of a technical glitch with some of the recording uh, in that uh, Windows updated and then uh, my OBS stopped picking up my audio and the audio setting got, uh, got mislaid. So in the case of Hocko Life I decided to do a post commentary. Um, and I also, you know, missed uh, the last episode of this that didn't pick up the sound. So with this one, I feel more like it would be a better thing just to not worry about that recording. I'll just show you what I did. So you may remember I had a big sort of villa sort of built here. Now I had a huge issue and I'll just show you what the issue was. Um, oh, apparently I need to clean the house first. Okay, let's go clean. I can show you the house. It's, it's very pretty. Got a nice table in here, got a nice sofa. I mean, I might change it to make some lighting. I've got like a little bathroom in here. And uh, we've got a little bedroom in here. Oh, it's all so lovely. Very lovely. And um, I kind of didn't worry too much about putting a lot of, uh, about sealing the, the, the roof in on this one. Um, I did have some issues with finding all of the rubbish in the house. Hmm, that's interesting. Because what was happening was some of it was uh, was hiding up in the ceiling. It wasn't too great. So I'm just going to have a look around. I haven't got all... Ah, there's a piece of wood on the ground. It's always those pisky pieces of wood. Ah. So still not. Okay. What haven't we got now? Another piece of wood. Really? <laughs> okay, we're good now. So I've got these ones to rent, and what I wanted to do was to start on the castle today, but also build two very small um, fourth and fifth properties, I think. So I can just make sure that rental income stays up so that I've got plenty of, plenty of rental income if I need to buy new stuff. That mattress looks a little bit uh, wonky, doesn't it? Let's move it. Ah, they're keeping bottles under their mattress. There we are. Much better. Let's see if that's clean now. No! So one thing that sometimes happens is... Uh, and this is the reason why in the central house I didn't worry too much about this. Also, that is out of line, I've just realised. Sometimes, I've noticed as well, you can end up building walls that are slightly out of line with each other. Which was a little bit annoying, so... A couple of things I'd noticed. Generally, we're pretty good. Um, darn it. Sometimes it's really just a case of clicking the ceiling until you find the right thing. There we are. That's all done. Grab any rent that's in there. I just thought this would be a good way of showing you the new houses I've built. And I wanted to to just build some very, very simple ones um, for the 4th and 5th. don't want them to be too complicated. So I'm not 100% sure if I'm even going to... Yeah, I think I'll just use this. I, I think that's fine. One thing that I find with this is uh, that the... The more complicated you make things, the more difficulty you quite often make for yourself. Um, so, one thing I also found is that if you try to have sort of a, almost these sort of decking areas that are outside, these sort of porch areas, um, and you maybe have like a, a beam or something up there instead of a wall, it can sometimes make the house, as much as that's fine for a build that you don't plan on letting out, for a build where you do plan on letting the house out, it can be a real problem. It can be a real real bit of an issue. So, um, I might just go, honestly, I'm going to actually demolish the... I don't like where, quite where these are. So I'm just going to make, um, honestly, a couple of little 3 by 3s Or 3 by 4s or something like that. Maybe a 3 by 4 and I'll, I'll subdivide it. I think that would be ideal, actually. So let's go one, two, 
three, so we're just gonna go three by four. And that should be plenty. And they've each then got a little garden around the back. You can see them, you know. They're all very nice. So I'm super, super happy with them actually. Are these one, two, three, four? This looks very far forward compared to this one. Two, three, four, five. Ah, oh, it's because it's five backwards. Let's just go with five. We'll just make squares. And that'll be absolutely fine. I'll just make some little square properties. Because, you know, I've got properties that are different shapes as well. So I don't think it'll look too uh, too wrong to have some that are just little squares on the end. I hate it when that happens. Grr, grr, grr. So we'll just go one, two, three windows down the end. Uh, one, two, three windows there. And a window at the back. That'll do perfectly for that, and then I'm probably going to want... I might not want a wall there, actually. I'll see I'll see what happens when I roof it. So, we'll stick in some walls. Very, very simple. And what I've really found with the rental properties is that they don't tend... Like, the tenants that come in don't tend to want a, a lot. And it, so it's easier, really, just to stick with simple designs. And then if you're going to make like a house that's kind of for yourself and that's, that's kind of your, your big villa or your big castle or whatever, you're not necessarily going to want to rent that out and that's probably going to be something that you'll put a bit more effort into. So let's just have a little sort of uh, subdivision here. Um, a couple of walls and a door so you can have a bedroom or something. And then I will just quickly stick a roof on it. Honestly, you're so much better off doing this rather because I I was trying to make pretty villas and things. I would love for the game to give me a bigger catalogue of um oh yeah I do need walls up there a bigger catalogue of people that I can rent things to. So I've got people that want to live in like I don't know some massive castle or something or a big villa and have the money to rent that. But then it make kind of also makes sense that. Uh, let's get that roof in. Oh, there we are. Uh, it also kind of makes sense that they wouldn't necessarily want that. There we are. Lovely. So that's what it's going to look like. It's just going to be a little house at the end there that's just going to be for a tenant that doesn't need too much stuff. Um, I'm just making everything out of refined plaster. Using quite a lot of stone to do it, but I will go to the trader in a minute and I'll um, change it all around. Let's uh, go. Fine plaster. Fine plaster it's called, not refined. But, you know, when you do a simple design as well, you can make a house in about five minutes. If you start playing around with upper levels and all that sort of thing, it takes a lot longer. And again, as I say, I'm going to leave the roof open just because of that problem I had with, with rubbish, like, hiding in the roof. I'm not really very interested in trying to sort that out all the time. There we are. So they have a bit of an open roof. So what I would have done otherwise is put in a, a floor tile there and I would have closed the roof off like I've done in these two properties either side. Um, but for for reasons of trying to clean it, that is not what I'm going to do. So there's a few things that like I, I wanted to do but practicality has kind of stopped me from it. So let's find a nice door. What kind of door should we have? We could have this door. Or... Yeah, let's have this door on this one. Let's have nice doors and shutters. And how about these shutters that match? Well, they don't actually match at all. Ah. Wrong ones. No, destroy. So when you destroy, you do actually get a little bit back of what you invest. Which is quite nice, I think. Uh... It's good that you get something for it. So these match the door. They're gold, gold and black shutters. I quite like them. I like. I've used them on a few of the other buildings. And I've been quite happy with it. So I, I like to leave some walls and things. Just they'll open a shutter or something there, just to keep it interesting. I could put a little. Uh, door here. What kind of door should we have as an internal one? I always feel like internal doors shouldn't be quite as fancy-schmancy, so maybe that one. They're all pretty fancy, to be fair. 
Um, and they're probably going to want a bed. And they're probably going to want some kind of cabinet or something. They'll always want a bed, so... Uh, what bed are we going to have in this one? It's a less fancy place, so I'm going to just do a less fancier bed. And let's have a bed like that, maybe. Okay, let's um, slap a renting sign on it and then see who might want to live here. But honestly, I could have made all the houses like this and it would have been fine. Like, I could have made them smaller. I could have made them like the other houses and just upgraded them a bit. But, you know, I kind of do have a little bit of a desire to make things look pretty. So, we've got someone who wants a bed and a closet. Generally speaking, the more things you add, the higher the payment goes up. So, um, possibly adding, yeah, go for this one. Bed, a closet, a basin, and two shelvings. So, let's do a basin in here, in the bedroom. So, sometimes I have the bedroom slightly double as a bathroom. And then we're going to make another one, and then I'm going to start on the castle, okay? So I'm going to have like five properties worth of rental income that I can use while the the property is being sort of made. So um, it was two shelvings, wasn't it? Let's put a dresser in here. I like to put a dresser in. And then I'll put a basin to, to one side as well, so it's a bathroom basin. See, that might match. I don't know, but if I put it under the window. It doesn't quite match, does it? That's not quite what I was hoping for. Gonna be honest. Maybe we could go with one like this. That's better, still not a good match for the woods. So, like, what is it with these games? And not letting you match wood. Seriously, like. Right, so now we just need a closet and another shelf in here, so. Sometimes I add some extras as well. Um, closet. That'll be quite nice in a living room sort of area, I think. Living room slash kitchen. And then it wants a shelf as well. How about we go with... Oh, actually, kitchen shelving. I think they both count, but... Uh, how about this one? It's quite a nice one. I put that under the window, and then like maybe pop a little sofa in or something. I was putting things like sofas in across... But then... Uh, I don't know. Got a bit weird. Rubbish kept hiding behind it. Oh, I like that sofa. That's nice. Oh, that, you can get a chair and sofa set. That's very cute. I like that. I'm actually going to pop that chair in the corner there. And then we can do some lighting as well. Um, but this is going a little bit beyond at this point. I I did at one point put like um, curtains and everything in. So, so I'm just going to put the chandelier up here. Really? Support missing. Darn it. Okay, so I think without having um, a proper ceiling there, I'm either going to have to have a chandelier on both sides. I could just do it on both sides, actually. That's probably about right. We'll light them with a torch. And in here I could probably hang a chandelier from there, or I could just go with some kind of softer lighting. I could just go with some stand standing lamps and things, so... I want to know what that one is, but probably not ideal for a bedroom. So I'm just going to do this. And then I will get those lit. I do like to light to get some lights in. I like to get artwork in and things like that if I can, but I don't know. I could put a little carpet in as well. Miscellaneous carpets. Put like a little rug down. 
That looks awful, doesn't it? It looks horrible. Why would you give me a rug like that? Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Could give him a little fireplace, though. That's actually pretty cool. I like that fireplace. Kind of rustic. Well, that lights up everything really nicely, actually. Okay, put the torch away. It's like their little kitchen area, and that's like their little sitting area. Okay, so that's taken us about 15 minutes to build. So, like, building a nice rental property takes about 15 minutes. Um, one more shelving, is it? Okay. Maybe it's a bedroom shelving you want then. Because sometimes it doesn't say whether they want bedroom or bathroom shelving, and it can be a bit annoying. So I'm going to stick in another bedroom shelf, and we'll just see if that helps at all. That's supposed to be a matching one. So that one, which it actually is, which is nice. So, And then you can put all sorts of things on there, and it's, it's lovely. If you really want to spend a lot of time on it, you really can. 175 payment. Lovely. Rent. So that one actually rents for 875. Uh, one thing that I was wanting to do. That's 725. This is this one here seems to be renting out for like such a small amount. It's really bad. It's a nice place too. So I'm going to try and maybe change the tenant on it a couple of times and just see if I can get a really good tenant. And then once I have got a good tenant, just leave them there. Um, and I also need to head to bed as well. Clear, I like clear days with sunshine. Oh yeah. Makes things a lot easier. Okay, that's all nicely cleaned out. Still haven't cleaned it, apparently. As ever, it is a piece of piece of plank on the floor. As ever. So, I can stop renting to this person. Payment of 95. And just see if there's anyone with a better payment. That one, already 120. Straight away. Much better. And you might want to keep doing that with, with properties that you think are better than you've uh, than the rent that you're getting. So this one has like a bedroom through here as well. Well, I think I've already shown it to you. So I could put some chairs in here. I could put some like living room furniture and things if I wanted. There's probably something in the ceiling. And the only way to really know if there's something in the ceiling is to just like sort of hover over it. And then just to see if you've managed to grab it. And it is a bit annoying, I'm going to be honest. Sometimes you just can't even tell there's something up there. Can't even tell where whatever it is is. I'm sure that bed moved. Was that it? No. So yeah, it gets a bit annoying when you can't tell where a piece of rubbish is. bottle in the ceiling. There we are, perfect. All done. So this is super nice, so uh, they all look clean at the moment. So like I say, just spend the first sort of half an hour here just sort of making a very, very quick and yeah, it might take it may take me up to sort of half an hour, twenty five, you know, maybe more. Um, start about there, I think. Um, maybe not there. Okay, let's just destroy this. What do I want? I could have a four wide one. They don't all have to be the same, right? And it seems to fit pretty well. I think this is a slightly larger lot, to be honest. Most of them are five long, so we'll do four by five. That should be fine. Now, the, in the other ones that are four wide, what have I done? I've always had some kind of weird 
thing on the front to make it seem a little bit more okay. I could go with that on this one actually. That wouldn't be too bad. So let's destroy these. Oof, oof. So I'd be putting a door there. So I kind of know what I'm doing already, so it's not going to be as slow as it would be otherwise. So I want a couple of windows at the front there. Three windows there. Two windows there. Uh, two windows there, and then the rest would be walls, wall, 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 wall. So you kind of are getting a taster of what what went on before. I'm just going to check the roof on this one. What I did. Okay, yeah, I get it. So, roof, roof, roof. Ah, oh, darn it. I missed a wall. How am I supposed to put a roof on if there ain't no wall? Ah. Okay. And on these ones, I'm just going to go for a second level of roofing. Are you going to decide to be awkward? Whatever will work, I will work with. Come on. Once you get that first piece done, it usually and decides to behave. Oops. And like I say, just because of the, the ease of cleaning everything, um, I'm gonna leave the, the roof open. I wouldn't do that ordinarily though. And then I just want to make it all into fine plaster. Super quick house. And like I say, that, sh that should give me the ability then to uh, rent it out for a decent price. And fund my castle building activities. Oh no, we do not want to be wasting fine plaster on floors, thank you. I actually built that in four minutes. I'm bad. So once I start to know what I'm doing with, I've planned it out already in a different build and I'm just copying it, it's a lot faster. Um, okay, so that's what we've got there. I think in this type, this style of room, what I do is I put two doors interior, two walls interior, and I subdivide, and then we can have a bedroom and a bathroom, and we've got sort of an L-shaped living room there. So then I will, what I will do on this one, that I meant to do on the other one, I really should have done on the other one. I'll show you in a second. Obviously, you've got, you can see all the way through there, so I think what we need to do is put some upper walls in. Which Obviously, if I was able to just um, box in the roof, we'd be able to sort that out, but I don't know. It looks kind of cool. It looks like they've got some little sort of a nice high ceiling and little places to sort of pop things in. So the next time I... Oh, what did I do here? Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh no, this isn't symmetrical at all. Also, I've done one of the things wrong. No, that's a door. Sheila, what are you doing? Windows. Blaster. That's better. Okay, so what kind of uh, shutters are we going to have? Let's have a look at that next. Going to go with the gold ones again? Yeah. Fancy gold shutters. Everything is so much easier. When you're only using one level. Why did I make all this this whole wall out of like um, normal plaster? I must have just hit the wrong one. Oh. 
there as well. A cool looking room, isn't it, in a way? Okay, so the next thing I want to do is to pop a bed in here because we are definitely 100% going to need a bed. Um, this is a, a slightly larger place, so I might just put in a slightly fancier bed. I do quite like this bed. I think it's a nice sort of, it's not too like regal, but it, and it's nice, it's a nice coloured wood. And it's not too overbearing. So I quite like that. So put a bed in and we're going to choose some doors. And we'll get a rental sign on here. Ugh. Stick those doors in. Everywhere, I guess. They do look more like a front door, but there's nothing really that, that smacks of internal door to me. They all seem to smack in, smack of internal, uh, sorry, external door. So yeah, if I wanted to put two things down there as like a porch, it would suddenly be like, nope, this house is not a valid house. And I feel like that's such a shame because it just takes away so many opportunities for things like balconies and things like that. I'm considering putting chimneys in. I mean, they would just go on the top, wouldn't they, like this? I don't know if a chimney would go that way around more. So I'm not going to worry about it at the moment. That's very decorative. Um, so we're just going to get a rental sign on it and see what we need to add. Hopefully it won't be too much. So, payment 20, 32. So if the base payment, if they've all just got a bed and the base payment is 32, that's probably going to be the one that will give you the most. Um, so, see they still only need like a 3x3 three three area, it's ridiculous. So a closet, a basin, and some shelving. That's not too bad. We'll do a closet in the bedroom. And so this will give us even more income. Hurrah! I do like this. This is a nice set, I feel. It's one of the only... It's one of the only ones that seems to be like a set. I think there might be a few others, but... Is that bed also meant to be part of the set? Maybe. It looks like it might be. Shelvings, um... Oh, was it a basin? Do they want a basin? I'm gonna give them that basin, that looks quite nice. Might give them a tub as well. I sometimes give them a little bit more than they need. They just want a shelf now. Okay. So we don't even need anything in their living room, like just. So I'll just do a kitchen shelf so that they've got something in here. There you are, a little, little shelf in there. There we go. You don't need much furniture in here, apparently. you can go very detailed if you want to as I say there's like lots of little bits and pieces you can put on things and and all sorts so let's rent this one out and then we can start on the castle this would be a nice one yeah that'll be a nice rent on that one so we can just go around collecting rent tidying up rental properties getting more money And that will definitely help with the castle building. I'm going to start getting on with the castle building though. I've got plenty of stone at the moment. I'm sure I'll go through it rather fast. Um, I don't have a particularly clear plan on exactly what I want to do. Also, there's a piece of a plank of wood on the floor. What kind of people are these anyway that like leave their house in such a state? My landlords came around to inspect and it was like that. We would be in some serious trouble. There would be some serious questions being asked about the maintenance of the property, you know? And those ones are nice and clean. Lovely. So we can start on the castle now. So I'm going get to get rid of all the wall pieces and we're going to start looking at castle pieces now and, and road pieces and all that sort of thing. So let's go into buildings and into castle. Um... So what do I think is going to be 
a big thing. Probably like all these walls. Probably a gate. That's probably quite a big thing. Um, like I say, I still don't 100% know what's going to happen here. What, how it's going to turn out at all. Maybe some sort of roundish towers, some like hexagonal towers. I feel like they'd be quite good. Um, some blocks. Some like single windows, double windows, doorways. Different kinds of doorways. Big solid piece of wall there. I'm probably going to have to come in here and just double check a few things but that's a foundation for a tower and that seems to be like yeah it would need the foundation down first okay so um i don't want it starting like right here but i i think the first thing i want is maybe a gate which should probably do i want it around this way or do you maybe want the ah do you maybe want the gate to be like I think I want it in line with these roads. So I'm going to put some more roads in and I'm going to line the gate up to them as much as I can. Ooh, okay. I will need a corner piece in there because otherwise they're not the same length, you see. That would cause some issues. Right, so there we are. The gate's going to start here, I think. Going to have like a gatehouse going in. Then we might have a little courtyard in front. Maybe with some towers. And then go into like a more castle with towers and stuff. I'm thinking. I'm thinking we'll start with the gate and we'll build around it. So I like, I like the gatehouses. They're really cool. Seems to need to be a little bit back from this road though. Maybe it can't be too close or something. I'll see what I can do. I really hate that I can't properly line this up. I know I'm going to mess this up. She says perfectly lining it up with the road. Wow, okay, it's kind of snapped in. Nice. Okay, well, I'm feeling more confident. How about, what's this then? Would this, oh, I probably need some foundations, don't I? Um, foundations and floors. Oh, so this is a foundation. And yet it doesn't attach to the gatehouse at all. Okay, good to know. Gatehouse doesn't attach to any foundations. That's lovely. So good, so good. None of the walls fit. What is this? I'm trying to build my castle here. My goodness. It was all so beautiful up until now. What's the point in having a blinking gatehouse if there's no blinking way that you can add foundation to it? It's a foundation and a floor. Maybe that's a floor then. But no, it's definitely a foundation. It should snap to there, but it doesn't. That's an issue. I'm also really hot. I wish I had decided to up after being freezing all day. Taking off the jumper. There we are. Okay. So I'm trying to work this out then. So why would 
Maybe the gatehouse needs to be further back then. I'm going to destroy it. I don't know how much like stone that took. Probably a lot. And I don't know if the roads are interfering at all, but... I'm so upset because that was working so well. Looks like these foundations would work fairly well. That's two, but... Okay, we'll try again with a gatehouse. I mean, they're so nice. I'm like, why wouldn't they... Why wouldn't they want to work, you know? Let's, um... Square it up and we'll just bring it back. And then hope for the best. Okay, so now we've got a foundation. Won't fit, won't fit, won't fit, won't fit. This is awful. This castle building is absolutely abysmal. Super not happy. Those are floors. That's definitely a floor. That's definitely a floor. This is like a tower. Oh, right. The tower will fit by the gatehouse. Well, that's maybe what we'll have to do then. Just to get it to work. That's fine by me. If that's what's needed. A gatehouse with two towers. Then maybe we could work on like foundations. Is that like a single foundation? Oh, the, yeah, this works. And that's like a longer foundation. Okay, let's try the longer one. This is just a simple gatehouse area. I don't think, unfortunately, I can, uh... So I can put down, like, a kind of path out of foundation there. I'm gonna need to go and in, uh, into one of my rentals and quickly, quickly give them a spruce and also change it to daytime. I'm glad I got something to work there, it's getting a bit frustrating. But I have a, a, a very high expectation that I'm going to need more stone before the end of this. So the weather changed. You can never just assume that it's going to be clean when you've spotted everything, because you never spotted everything. Never, ever, ever. Let's grab the rental incomes as well. So that's going to be important. I don't know. Is it? Is it an, just? Is, oh, it seems to be just an amount of money to make these uh, castle bits, which is interesting. So I can maybe sell wooden stone to do that. That one's all still clean. Lovely. That one needs a clean as well. May as well. Might as well do that. We're up to the 40 minute mark now, so the start of the castle are coming along, but we've definitely done a good job, I feel, of like getting the rental properties up and running. Oh, I think they were burning some extra wood on their fire there. Is that it? It's, it is quite quite nice that cleaning the properties does give you extra uh, materials and uh, and money and things as well on top of the rent. <sighs> what have we missed? A giant box lid on top of the bed, of course. 
course that's what we've missed. But like I say, these will bankroll anything we need to do with the castle. So we're already down to 37,000. But look, we've got the starts of our castle here. Um, and so because the gatehouse has gone sort of beyond... Oh no. The road doesn't quite line up with it. Oh. I was so happy that the towers... Ooh. That the towers lined up. I wonder if I can just put a couple more pieces of road in and like try and get it in line. I want it in line with that gate. It's so annoying. Like games like this, why why don't they have grids and things that like help you line things up? Yeah no. Okay, so we're gonna start again. It's also super annoying that the gatehouse does this, you know? Why would that be a thing I wanted? think part of my issue there also was I was trying to do things in the dark that I should not have been trying to do in the dark. Look at that, that's a bit better. A little bit. Quite there with it. We are like a smidge off. Is that smidge gonna worry me? Yes. It's absolutely going to worry me, so I'm going to do it again. Until we get it right, because this is the first piece of the castle, okay? It's important. But I feel like I'm working blind here. For working blind, that was bang on. Okay, so now, next question is, do the towers still fit to the sides? They do indeed. Nice. All right. We've got a gatehouse. I mean, I don't think you would normally have towers immediately by a gatehouse, but they're like the only thing that fits. So I'm happy enough. And they can, I don't know, shoot people from there or something. I don't know. So you probably want a door around the other side. Maybe here or here. Probably like there, I would say. Yeah, that would be a door. But also possibly a wall. So let's have a look at making some like foundations. Oh, the foundations ain't gone fit. They are not gonna fit. It's like they don't like the land or something that it's based that it's fitted on. It's it's like a total toss up as to whether it'll work or not. It's so annoying. Thinks it's up in the sky or something. I don't have a clue why this isn't working properly. Oh, it's because their walls, not foundations. That would be why. Okay, the foundations are working fine. <laughs> oh, goodness. So I'll probably have, like, a foundation, and that'll probably go into a staircase up to my main castle at that point. And I might put a nice fence or something in there as well, so... I'm definitely going to need a door, then, that will go through here, I think, because this will be a wall. Or maybe some kind of window. I actually think a wall... Maybe a wall like this. I'm kind of thinking I'm going to wall it all in because that's how a, like a castle would have been. It would have been defensive. It wouldn't have necessarily had things like this. Oh, I locked myself in. Oops. Wouldn't have necessarily had things like this. Pop a doorway in there. Is 
I kind of can go into the tower if I want to. I might be able to put some like stairs up in there and stuff. Um, I'll do the same on this side. It's a good way to get it started. Um, could just use the towers as a decorative thing, but I kind of think it'd be nice if you could go in them. And then maybe you can walk along the walls on the top. That would be a nice little addition, I think, as well. So there's just a plain wall there. I'm just going to put that over that shutter. Because it's going to, probably going to be something I'll use quite a lot. And then the door can go there. Or a gnat. Do we have a thinner door? Oh. Why will not that door work? And yet it would work. Because I have already put a door there, that's why the door will not work. Oops. Yeah, so we can just shut the gate from inside. Love it. Right, I feel like I need some nice long walls here. So long walls is eight, I think. Okay, maybe not. What, what What is that actually meant for then? It doesn't do, seem to work anywhere. Is it, maybe, is it maybe the continuation of like a tower or something? Maybe this found, uh, these foundations would work with that? I don't know. You, but, but the big blocky walls, they just don't go anywhere, do they? So I guess we're going to need some normal walls. Super confused, but never mind. Yeah, castle building is not as fun as it seemed. Those walls don't work either. So I can't build no walls. Can't build no walls up in here. I can build foundations. But the foundation's not like big enough or something? Why would you be able to build a foundation and not? That looks cool, but I don't know how I would build that. That looks like a continuation of a of a tower. Yeah, it's a nice big square tower. Which would be lovely. Maybe that's something we could do. Well at this point I just I don't know I don't know where where I sit with anything anymore, you know? This is looking very nice, but... Okay, so let's try making a proper wall. Let's see if we can do it at all. Um, so let's do a foundation block here. So the foundations can come out like here. From these... Oh no! I built one foundation too short. Um, yeah, I do feel like it needs to be back. Okay, so let's <laughs> just destroy this. But it's not easy to get the foundations and walls and things to interact together. Like, um, in the tutorial, obviously it gave you all the blocks and things. But I'm feeling like it's very tough to get them to properly work. So that is a foundation, so I could maybe try and get stairs up to that. But I, I don't know why why the walls don't work. Like, do they have to be like in these structures or something? Is, is that what it is? Can I? Hmm. Okay, well, let's just. I'm just gonna try a few things, and as I get more confident with it, I might be able to fix what I've done out here. 
So that'll definitely be windows. That'll definitely be windows. Actually, I think... Those might all be windows, and, and then I might just keep that. I wonder whether the, having the wall there prevents the wall here being used. Because I'm just, I'm really uncertain as to how I use this wall at all. Seems very thick. I'm just gonna try. I can't rotate these, you see. I can only have them coming off. Well, let's try it anyway. Yeah, they, they don't sit parallel to each other and make a nice floor. They, they are clearly meant for building walls on top of. But you can't build walls on top of them. <gasps> I'm trying, guys, okay? I'm trying so hard. It just isn't working for me. Okay, um... I just want to know how these work and, and what they can do, because... Why wouldn't they go on top of a foundation? I have no idea. Are the foundation... Because uh, if the foundations are meant for paving and making roads... I don't know so confused okay so i'm gonna just like i'm not gonna worry about actually making um the castle right now what i'm gonna worry about is trying to see if i can actually get a wall to work i'm gonna put a load of foundation over here and i'm gonna see if i can get anything to do what it's meant to will this work anywhere i feel like i wish i could go back to the castle building tutorial and Try and look at what what worked together. Cause it looks like it's going to be so nice, but also so difficult. <laughs> looks like stairs have to go on foundation. And they will go on the foundation, interestingly enough. Because these guys won't. So what are they meant to be on top of? They're meant to be on the towers? They don't seem to work on the towers. I'm super, super confused. So I think what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to go back to uh, I'm going to leave it for now. We've got the start of the castle. I'm super happy with how we've managed to get the gatehouse in. And I do like the towers to either side and I think we can do all sorts of really interesting and cool things with it. Definitely. But I'm going to go back and I'm going to watch the castle um, building tutorial one and just see if I can work out what to do with those chonky balls because they're the only ones I can't really can't do anything with at the moment and see whether the found these foundations seem to get used in it or anything like that. So I'm going to leave it for now. So we've done a really good job getting this final the final bits of this uh, nice row of houses done. I feel like I'm super, super happy with those, actually. I really, really like them. Um, it's got like a little street and not every single house is the same, which I quite like as well. But the castle is a mess right now, and I want to build a good castle, I want to build a good throne room. So I'm going to go away, I'm going to try and do a little bit of research on exactly what I'm doing wrong with everything, and I will be back next episode with castle building skills. So I hope you enjoyed this episode, if you did then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more castle flipper, I'm hoping, I actually, 
the next one might be building the castle and the one after might be furnishing it. I, I, I think I could give myself two hours to build an entire castle. Uh, but if you'd like to see that then do please subscribe and I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.